Heads and you viewers. So today is Inside Alyssa White number 29 and Inside Alyssa White is where you can ask me questions, pretty much anything unless it's super offensive or something, and I'll answer them because I like to answer questions. So send me in anything you want to know and I will answer them in the next installment. Leave them in the comment box down below. Let's get started. So first off is a couple that I absolutely adore. They're one of my favorite couples ever. Allie and Austin, they have a great YouTube channel, go check them out. They're amazing. They're like super into horror and South Park and awesome stuff and yeah, check them out. But they didn't even ask me a question. <laughs> I was just like, I thought they asked me a question, but they're just being super sweet. Okay, that's a shout out. I'm sorry. Moving on to a question now. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what happens while I don't prepare ahead of time. People get shout outs and they didn't leave a question, but Allie and Austin deserve the shout out, so you're good. You're good. <laughs> Kirsty Butterfield, I hope I said your name right. If I didn't, let me know. Is it Kirsty or Kirsty? Let me know. She asks, What Wii U games have I got? Um, I've got um, New Super Mario Brothers U. I have Hyrule Warriors, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. Pikmin 3, Zombie U, do I have anything else? Not that I know of, and I have Earthbound on the virtual console, but other than that, I don't think I have any more, unless I'm totally missing one, and if I am, I'll put it in somewhere in the video if I'm missing one. But yeah, I have those. I don't have many, but I love the games I do have. Oh, and Bayonetta 2, Bayonetta 2, that's an incredible game, how did I miss that one? I have Bayonetta 2. And she also asked, do I plan to get any that were talked about at E3? She has Yoshi's Woolly World and she thinks it's fantastic. Um, I really want to get Xenoblade Chronicles X. That looks amazing. Um, I'd like to see more about Yoshi's Woolly World. I'm not big into platformers. I like certain ones, but I'm not huge into platformers and stuff. So I'll have to see reviews and other things like that before I decide. But it does, it looks really cute and those amiibos or, or are adorable. There we go. Um, I'm trying to think of all the games that were announced for Nintendo. Like, I can tell you all of Sony and Microsoft, but Nintendos are just, like, leaving my mind. Like, woo. I'm not excited for Star Fox, really. Um, I'm just not into flat simulation games. I can't think of any more, but I'm really excited for Xenoblade Chronicles X. That's what I can tell you off the bat right now. Okay. <laughs> that was weird, I know. Uh, Epic MLK Gamers asks, which state do I live in? I live in Alabama, sweet home Alabama. Not really. I mean, it's not whatever you want to think. Uh, Symbiotically Geeky, another awesome friend of mine that you need to check out because he's so super freaking hilarious. I call him Symbiotically Funny sometimes. <laughs> asks, if I could meet two people in the world, one alive and one dead, who would I choose? Oh my gosh, that's hard. Um, currently, if I could meet one person who's alive, I would probably say Michaela Usman, just because I have a huge crush on him and he's a great actor. And I would just like to pick his brain because he seems so intelligent and just be like, how are you so talented and handsome? And one dead person, um, gosh. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, deep philosophical questions. <laughs> um, I always wanted to meet Cory Monteith. I know, I know Glee, boo. I loved Glee and I always wanted to meet him and I was like, no, when he died. It was like a friend dying. So I'm going to say Cory Monteith at the moment, but I'm sure I'll think of someone better after the video's over with. Uh, Joe Manganaro, another amazing YouTuber, asks, what is my favorite horror movie? Um, I'm going to mention several, but my favorite horror franchise is the Scream franchise. I adore the Scream films. I just love them so much. Like, you have no idea. I've watched them so many times, and I love them. And I just, I love how they combine um, dark uh, comedy with horror. And I love Ghostface as a killer, because you never know who Ghostface is until the end of the movie. Like, you'll be like, oh, it's this person. But then it's like, it was that person, really? I just love the Scream films and I really really love The Messengers. That was actually my first horror film because I was a super delicate little flower when I was a child and didn't watch horror movies so The Messengers with Kristen Stewart and John Corbett I love it. A lot of people didn't but I adore it. I love a lot of vampire movies. I know like 30 Days of Night, The Lost Boys, 
uh, I like 28 days later, 28 weeks later. I like those. There's just, I, I do like a lot of horror. I don't talk about it much, but I do. I just haven't seen like a lot of horror movies. I like the Nightmare on Elm Street films too, by the way. The Geeky Potato, hi, you just video bombed me. <laughs> but yeah, those are some horror movies I really enjoy. And then he says, rank my favorite Game of Thrones seasons from best to worst. Oh gosh, that's hard. Um, 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 um I'll go with, in order, the ones I really, really, like, loved. I'll say three, one, two, four, five. There we go. Th that's the order. Seriously, I'm not changing it. Um, let's see. Next question, next question. Sega CD Universe asks, do I like any full motion video games? Uh, I didn't really play a lot of full motion video games. I did play Road Rash, which has the FMV cutscenes, but I never really got to play the FMV games. So I don't really have a favorite or anything, but I liked Road Rash if that counts. <laughs> and then they ask, when did I start playing video games? I was five years old and my first game was Tomb Raider. He asked, David Lee Roth or Sammy Hagar? I was never really a fan of, um, Oh my gosh, the band name just left my mind. It left my mind. Is it Van Halen? I think it's Van Halen. It's Van Halen, I'm pretty sure. It just left my mind, like I knew it, and then it just went poof. I was never a big fan, I just wasn't, so I don't have a preference, I'm sorry. And then they also asked, do I like any metal music? I was never big into metal. Like when I was in college, I listened to a lot of like screamo, like I liked A Day to Remember, Avenged Sevenfold, Atreyu, stuff like that, but I was never into like hardcore metal metal. Somebody's gone. Uh, 606766, I can't talk, asks, will I be getting Austin Hone's album Dirty Work? No, I don't, no. I mean, I liked a couple of his songs, but I'm not going to buy his album because I'm not that big into Austin Mahone. I do like Shawn Mendes though. He's really good. I want his album. If you haven't listened to Shawn Mendes, listen to Shawn Mendes. Arkham Assassin asks, how do I feel about the Final Fantasy VII Remake? I'm super freaking excited for it, okay? Look, that's a classic game. I love Final Fantasy, and I want to see it in full glorious HD. I want to play it. I want it now. Give it to me now. And then the last set of questions are from the ever-wonderful Snestastic. And he asks, what did I think of the Comic-Con Batman vs. Superman trailer? I thought it was pretty good. I liked the trailer. It was very dark and gritty. And I love that has um, Wonder Woman in it. I know Aquaman is going to have a cameo. And then Scott, I really like Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Like, he was the funniest part of the trailer. I, I don't, I'm not a big Batman or Superman fan to be honest. So I don't know if I'm going to watch this in theaters. Probably not. I haven't even seen Men of Steel. But, you know, I do like Zack Snyder's work usually. And it did look pretty good. So I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. Two, what is my favorite game of the current generation so far? It's a tie between Dragon Age Inquisition and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I love them both. I know they're big open world JRPG, uh, uh, not JRPGs, RPGs, but they're both so freaking amazing. I love them. I just love them so much. So Dragon Age Inquisition and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I just love them. And three, what impact has my YouTube channel had on my life, if any? Uh, it's made me a lot more outgoing because I used to be super duper shy. I wouldn't talk to anyone. And I just had major social anxiety and all that. It's really broken me out of my shell. And it's also just, I've made so many great friendships along the way. It's made me have a tougher skin. It's opened doors for me career-wise. It's just been nothing but positive. Like, even when I have to deal with haters or whatever, you know, it teaches me to have a tougher skin and that it's not my fault that the haters are hating on me. It's because they have issues with their life and they're just projecting it onto someone else to try to make them feel as miserable as they are. And that's a very important lesson. If you're being cyberbullied, that's that's why you're being cyberbullied. And it's, it's horrible, it's terrible. I don't advocate it at all. But if you're being bullied, it is not your fault. It is because the people that are bullying you, they feel very 
very badly about their own life or their own situation, whatever's going on, and they're projecting it onto someone else trying to bring them down with them. Do not give them that pleasure. Just say, you know, either ignore them or if they keep, like, keep on, keep on, block them and just hope for the best for them because there's something going on with their life that is affecting them majorly. So, just, yeah, it's giving me a tougher skin. Definitely, and I've been able to travel because of the YouTube channel. Like, it's just it's changed my life for the better. I just love it so much. So, and I'm not giving it up, haters. Not giving it up. You're stuck with me. So, that is it for Inside Alyssa White number 29. I'm sorry that I was kind of like couldn't talk and all that. But if you have questions, leave them down below in the comments. I want to answer them. Favorite, share, friends, and family. See, share me as long as you do it nicely. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more goodness. I'm gonna go. Peace and kisses. Bye.